Ted and I have stumbled onto a big street tear out and uh, it's been a little bit slow going, but uh, that is not what I was expecting to see. This hit almost 90 and it is a ring of some sort, though I cannot tell what it is made out of. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and loop you back in if this is actually silver. And if not, it's still a cool find either way. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I am down in a trench and I don't know what it is with surface finds. Check that out. That is going to be some sort of button. You can see a brass shank on the back and it's got like a glass or like onyx stone or something like that. But that is a super cool find. It's definitely got some age to it. So let's see if we get something else. Well, this isn't something you see every day. One and two clay marbles. We'll start with this white one. Actually, this one feels like it's porcelain. And yeah, definitely just a plain porcelain marble, no markings on it. Now let's check this other one here. This one definitely feels clay. And yeah, just uh, plain clay, no bands or anything on it. But those are super cool. Crazy to find them so close to each other, but I'll take them. Let's see if we get something else. I didn't even put them in my pouch yet. I'm gonna set these down right here. There is number three right there. It's another porcelain one. That is incredible. I, I'm in just absolute disbelief. One, two, three clay marbles, literally in a spill within a foot radius. So awesome finds, I'll take them. Let's see if we get something else. Didn't even put my gloves on. There's a little uh, porcelain button there. So. Definitely a pretty old find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. I still haven't picked up my detector from the marbles in the button. That makes number four on clay marbles and actually I'll pan you over. Number five, right here. Just absolute insanity. That is, there's two more uh, just plain clay ones. So that now makes five marbles to the total. So I am absolutely thrilled with that. So let's see if we get something else. Well, it's a surface find kind of night for sure. This one's missing the shank, but it's another one of those black glass bead buttons. So cool find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it appears we've got yet another surface find here. It's gonna be just another little fancy porcelain button. So cool find, it's definitely got some H to it. So in the pouch that'll go, let's see if we get something else. So I just spotted another one. That's number, I think, six tonight. <laughs> that is crazy, it's another porcelain one. So cool find, let's see if we get something else. Well, Ted's having a pretty good day. He just dropped uh, these on me. He's got a little button. This thing with some gold plating on it, no clue what it is, maybe a cufflink, but that is super, super fancy. And then uh, he's kind of one-upped me today with this one, an 1883 Seated Liberty Dime. And he says that's his first one of the year. I'm still waiting on my first for this year, but awesome finds. Let's see if we get something else. So we have moved on to a dirt pile and I just plucked up this. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a flower pattern, all this gold gilt on it. I think some sort of suspender clip or something like that. But that came out absolutely beautiful. So I'm super thrilled with that. So in the patch that'll go, let's see if we get something else. Well, this is just completely insane. I don't even know how this ended up here. That is a very, very old Coca-Cola bottle marked Omaha, Nebraska on the bottom as well. So not just any old Coke bottle, that is a local coca-cola bottle see what it says on the bottom it says made for something probably one of those return bottles but that is just absolutely incredible so i will take it let's see if we get something else so the sun is going down and i got one more find to send me home it looks like a key of some kind ford key oh yeah it does look like a ford, ford key a. that's what you're thinking model a yeah ford model a yeah, it's pretty crusty, whatever it is. I'll throw up a picture of this when it's all cleaned up, but it's a cool find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, guys, would you look at that? Never in a million years did I think I'd see one of these in Omaha, but lo and behold, that is gonna be my first ever, if I can pick it up, Civil War three ringer. Uh, not, I think it's a 54 caliber, something like that, but these were used like 1850s, 1860s. So this is a super, super early find for Omaha. So I am absolutely thrilled with this. So in the pouch that'll go, let's see if we get something else. Well, I am back out at another tear out and I'm only a couple blocks away from where I found the Civil War bullet. And that there 
is a super, super early looking pistol bullet. Probably a, uh, like a 22 maybe or something like that. But that is a super old find. Definitely got an, a mid 1800s look to it. So I will take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I'm only a couple steps away from the bullet. Right there, that's a shank on the back. That is a button of some sort. And we're gonna see what we got on the face of this thing. Not much that I can see, possibly an eagle though. Would be very cool if this was military, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit and I will loop you back in. So here's the button all cleaned up. It's got some sort of crest on it. I actually have no idea what this is, but when I get this cleaned up better at home, I will throw up a picture of it with what it is, but it's got a back mark on it. It's a superior quality, a very old style one too. So super cool find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I have switched over to the little coil and down here, already worked this spot with the big one and I sniffed out yet another one of those little pistol bullets. So this one again looks to be Civil War era or so. So really cool find, definitely got some age to it. So the pouch side will go. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it seems like bullets are the theme tonight, because that is another one of those 1860s, 1870s pistol bullets. Though this one is slightly different, and this one definitely looks Civil War era, a little bit older even than the other ones I've been pulling up. So that's a cool find. It's definitely got some age to it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, would you look at that. Things are starting to get interesting here. That's a coin, and it looks like it's a penny. Gonna find out what this is together. Oh my gosh, it is just insanely crusty, but I do see one cent. That is gonna be an Indian head penny. And knowing the location, this could be a very early Indian head penny. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and clean this up the best I can. And if I get any more detail, I'll loop you back in. So here it is all cleaned up. It is uh, completely trashed. Uh, not surprised knowing that it was under concrete for a very long time, but look at the date on that one, 1878. That is actually the second oldest Indian head penny that I have ever found. And this thing was in mint condition when it was dropped. It's just got a lot of crust on it. Maybe I'll be able to get this cleaned off, maybe not, but it's a cool find either way. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Hey everybody, Bug Eater back with another wrap up from some hunts around a few tear outs. So I want to start off by saying congrats to Ted on all his awesome finds, including that 1883 seeded dime. Uh, those do not come up often in Nebraska. So it's super cool to see that one. But here's my take from the hunts. I got this Coca-Cola bottle. Um, based on the top, I would guess 40s, 50s or so. But what's really cool about it is that it was actually made in Omaha, so locally. And then onto the metal relics, I got an instrument tuner, a brass ring that broke when I tried to clean it, a Model A Ford key, this super fancy suspender clip with some flowers on it. Um, I also got onto some bullets, including three little 1800s pistol bullets, as well as my first ever uh, Springfield mini ball. It's a 58 caliber, which was super surprising to find a uh, Civil War bullets in Nebraska. And then uh, onto the marbles, I got these five here in a spill. They're all clay. And I got one additional one that I ended up giving to Ted. And then onto the buttons now, we got a couple of little porcelain ones, a black glass bead. And then this button is super cool. It's actually got a metal shank on the back of it and it's just like a black glass and then my favorite button from the hunt is this one here if I can get that to focus it is actually a police button and this one dates back to the 1850s or so it's got a shield on it but the back mark it's going to be tough to see but it says extra uh, quality which dates it back to like civil war era or so and then my one coin from the hunt was this here. It's an Indian head penny in terrible condition. However, it is dated 1878, making it my second oldest Indian ever. So super thrilled about that one. There's the back, not much to see, but that was my hunt guys. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater signing out.